day guys it's promise sebastian here again okay this is my infinite design and these are some of the devices of, uh, let me say most of the uh, designs i've completed on this infinite design okay i actually my, i have not saved almost every design i did here so these are the ones that i saved Okay, these are them so today i'm going to be taking you guys on something on this evening i'm going to be taking you guys on how to create thumb paper image as you can see this is a thumb paper image this is a thumb paper image and this is splash and this is splash i'm going to teach you guys how to create this splash you can use them on your flyer designs okay so let's start from this okay i'm gonna remove this as you can see this is a thumb paper image okay so before i continue if you know you've not subscribed to my channel just go right there and click the subscribe button and on the bell button also okay so what the bell button does for you it's once i drop an awesome content like this it notifies you about it so you go get what's inside okay so before we continue i would like to talk about something on graphic design there's what we call orderliness if your design is no kind of order it looks that in the eye and it's really not appealing so going for thumb paper image that are really really disordered like most of thumb paper image that are scattered too much or thought in a, a disorder the zigzag in them are much they are really not advisable okay so it's better you go for something like this that has a little bit um tons on it like it's really really not disordered like that so in this course in this tutorial if you are creating yours try to create the ones that are not that much disordered like add erase a little bit okay so without further ado let's get to the design first of all you get your shape let me remove this okay, first of all you get your shape in if you don't know how to use this infinite design you can try going back to some of the videos i did on infinite design tools and the rest so you can follow us along Okay, first of all you get your shape what's in a shape on this i will need to increase the size of this shape i transform it i'm okay Remove this a little. okay so i'm trying to do for the slanted and if i can still keep it like this and tear it with the two i'm going to show you guys so that it look like that or you can still tilt it you can tilt it let's tilt a little bit okay so we are good we are good okay so this is it for you to create stone paper on this infinite design you will have to use a tool called lasso tool Lasso tool. I've talked about how to use some of these tools, or even most, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is the lasso tool. Look at how the tool works. Let me click on it. I think I've talked about it, but I'll still go on it. Look at how it works. Watch this image. Like it, it works like just observe. It's something I really can't explain. But looking at it, you will understand. So you can go play with it. Most of the times people actually understand better once they are practicing on their own. Okay, so that is how the tool works. So you can use it on the draw side and you can use it on the erase side. I've talked about this since the draw side is used to add and the remove side is used to remove. Every exact pen in the draw side is still in the remove side. Just that this one adds why this one removes. Okay, so you go to your image that you want to tear and make it look like thumb paper. So you you can zoom and zoom then you use your lasso to you go to this eraser use your lasso to you draw from your lasso on this is gone see i've created a thumb paper though this is disordered so i try from here and remove from here and remove from here and remove Just try it out make sure it looks stone with your lasso that's the tool you use for it let it not be that much disordered that is the 
beauty of design if it's really really much disordered it will not look appealing won't look appealing okay so this is it you see i've successfully turned my paper and you see i have a thumb paper image here you see all that and really not this other so i can use this on a design i've gotten uh, the thumb paper i need so i can move this guy if i still want to create double edge like i have this side thumb paper i still have the bottom if i still want to make the bottom thumb paper i can just move this guy this guy and rotate it back to where it was i think it's no more slanted most landed i click ok and go back to my eraser with the same lasso tool this lasso tool at first it might seem hard that is it at first it might seem hard to use but just practice in everything practice makes perfection so you might try the lasso tool and it will seem hard to you just play around with it play around with it play around with it it really might not seem uh, right at the first time but on the second try a third try fourth try you will get to understand how it works okay this is the bottom side let's move over to this one wherever there is this order you try to make it ordered You see, I've successfully turned this edge. I can see smoothing. So this is it. So this is, this is how to create on paper image on Infinite Design. You can make it disordered. You just want it, but I'm just telling you for your own sake. Making it much more disordered will make your design not appealing. So try to order it like this it's okay and it's usable okay so we are done with this and this is the thumb paper image so go try it out go try it out i told you guys at first the the last one too might seem uh misbehaving or you might not know how to use it but just try it try it try it on shapes try it on shapes it's not actually about listening it's about practicing you will get a heck of it trust me okay so this is it for this one let's remove and let's get to the splash one i thought i i talked about splash so i'm going to explain that of the splash on infinite design here you can also use it on your design okay for the splash one what you need is a just you don't need a triangle any shape you need this tool it's called calligraphy this pen now this is the one you need this pen this pen is called calligraphy so you click on the pen you just shade wherever you want it shade shade you just make sure that you are shading very closely very closely very closely very closely and make sure you don't have openings in the middle okay, you see i've gotten a splash and close wherever seem disordered too much the beauty of design is orderliness no matter how creative it is it should be ordered if it's that much disordered it doesn't make sense okay you see this is okay i can see that this one came out a little so i can use my razor to and you remove remove so this is it this 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 i've used it on a design i've created it and used it on the design you will see how nice it is so use the calligraphy tool so you just make make sure your hand displacement is not much just little 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 and you'll be going up so that is how to create it okay so we are done for this let me remove then let me go over to that of the splash let me go over to that of the splash that of the splash you use this artistic tool this brush three that is the one i use for it brush this side you get a brush and you brush this side you get a brush you brush again to add edges like this you can still go back if you don't get nice something you brush you brush you see i try to cover up here that looks bent or reduce the pen side if it still didn't give me one it reduce the pen side but on something so this is good it's good but on something 
gotten some i'm just trying to add brushes to it so this is it this is it this is that of the splash you can still go back and still create to you are satisfied still add splash to it looks like what you are satisfied with. so this is it i use i've used these things and i've tried them it's also nice so you can also use this infinite design sorry to erase pictures i think i will talk about that in any format you want to erase the picture if you can't get the format in pixel lab infinite design will do it for you with the erase button okay so i will talk about that on my next video stay tuned and subscribe if you've not and click the bell button to get notified whenever i drop an awesome video like this okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day